This is George Crocker's column for May the 22nd in the Examiner, Sunday Examiner, once a week his column appears. Prejudice? Not at all. Why, some of my best friends are liberals. I mean, they talk liberalism. I mean, I am invited to dinner parties at which charming people certify their own credentials as liberals. This is done by dropping into the conversation the stock cliches about ghettos and by going on record in favor of forced integration of public schools and residential areas. There was a gentleman who was sipping a cocktail, munching hors d'oeuvres as he expounded on the need to close the cultural gap. Integrated housing was the answer, he thought. If different races live in the same block or apartment house, they will observe how others deport themselves and all inequalities will tend to disappear. You have a good idea there, I said. Think of all the people who could benefit by watching how you and your family deport themselves. What a shame that your home is tucked away in Hillsboro. Now, Bill, I nominate you to lead the way. He glared at me as though I had struck a low blow. There was the lady at my right at dinner who spent the entire solid course telling me about an article she had read. The author, a sociologist, had explained why de facto segregation in the schools must cease. In a mixed classroom, the less bright children are stimulated by the bright ones, but the latter are not slowed down at all. The culturally deprived ones, it was her term, not mine, acquire better habits by emulating the ones from better homes, but the latter are not led into worse habits by associating every day with the farmer. Psychology has discovered this, she informed me. Yes, yes, I said, I am familiar with the theory. She was chewing a piece of Belgian endive. My tone seemed to disconcert her. The tempo of chewing decelerated, then stopped. Do you dispute it, she asked. Tell me, I replied, don't you think the theory should be tested by the people who advocate them, not by people who don't believe in them? She put her fork down. Now I know what you're getting at. Yes, we do send our son to a private school. We can afford it, and, well, I don't say it because I'm the mother, because the pediatrician has said it from the first. Our son has an unusually quick mind, and he should have special attention. And, well, we believe in uh, integration and all that, but no need to explain, I told her. The Kennedys never do, nor the Roosevelts, the Scrantons, the Lindsays, nor a thousand other rich liberal clans I could name. I was mistaken. Lindsay has been smoked out of the bushes. Last month, a heckler asked, Why do you send your four children to private schools instead of New York's public schools? The chairman quickly adjourned the meeting. Last Sunday, Lindsay was ready when the question came on TV. Because he is mayor, he said, he wants his children to have the highest degree of privacy. He neglected to mention his children went to private schools before he was mayor, too. The sociologist theory is being tested in this country, but not on the children of the Lindsays or of any of the wealthy liberals I know, which I think is well put.